Ever woken up with a big toe that feels like it's on fire? Like someone stabbing it with tiny shards of glass? That, my friends, is the signature calling card of gout. For centuries, it was called the disease of kings because it was linked to rich foods and alcohol. But the real story isn't about royalty. It's about chemistry. So what's really going on? It all starts with something called uric acid. Now, uric acid is a totally normal waste product. Your body makes it when it breaks down purines, which are building blocks found in the DNA and RNA of every cell, and also in certain foods. Here's a fun fact. Most mammals have an enzyme called uricase that breaks down uric acid even further. Humans, we lost that enzyme millions of years ago, so our baseline uric acid levels are naturally higher than most other animals. For the most part, our kidneys just filter it out and we pee it away. No big deal. But the problem starts when those levels get too high. The magic number is around 6.8 milligrams per deciliter. Once you cross that threshold, your blood becomes super saturated with uric acid. Think of it like trying to dissolve a ton of sugar in a glass of cold iced tea. At first it dissolves, but eventually you hit a point where it just can't hold anymore, and sugar crystals start to form at the bottom. Your blood is the iced tea and uric acid is the sugar. And just like sugar in cold tea, these uric acid crystals, called monosodium urate crystals, love to form in cooler parts of the body. What's one of the coolest parts of your body far from your warm core? Your big toe. These sharp, needle-like crystals start crashing out of your blood and stabbing into the soft tissues of your joint. Your immune system sees these crystals as hostile invaders. It launches a full-scale attack. White blood cells swarm the area and try to engulf the crystals. But in the process, they release a flood of inflammatory signals, like a molecule called interleukin-1-beta. This is what causes that intense throbbing pain, the angry redness, and the massive swelling. It's your own body's friendly fire causing all that misery. So who gets this? It's not just about eating too much steak and beer, though that can be a trigger. Genetics play a huge role. Some people have genes that make their kidneys less efficient at clearing uric acid. Things like obesity, high blood pressure, and insulin resistance also throw your metabolic system out of whack and crank up production. The good news is it's manageable. Staying hydrated helps your kidneys flush things out. A balanced diet and maintaining a healthy weight are key. And for many people, Long-term medications like allopurinol can lower uric acid levels and prevent these painful attacks from ever happening. So the next time you hear about gout, remember it's not just a lifestyle disease. It's a fascinating and painful story of biochemistry, where a simple waste product exceeds its limit, forms microscopic daggers in your joints, and tricks your immune system into attacking itself.